Hi guys, this is Lalit and today I'm going to tell you about one of the option strategy uh, which is Spreadle. Uh, as you can see like Spreadle is one of the strategy uh, in which a trader uh, sells both the call and put of the same strike price of the same expiry. So the idea is to benefit from the, uh, I mean when the stock is a range bound or uh, uh, if you see like the stock is not going to move uh, for a time period then uh, the uh, then the trader usually uh, i mean do such a trade uh, so straddle is one of the trades uh, in which a trader benefit uh, one if the underlying doesn't move so this is straddle uh, basically and uh, if i'm going to show like uh, suppose uh, like our index is uh, on 14,000 suppose and uh, uh, so there are different strike uh, price of call and put uh, so like 14,200 is there, 13,800 is there so if you sell the uh, strike price uh, at a strike price uh, both the call and put then it is a straddle and if suppose the underlying remains here at the end of the expiry uh, then you are going to benefit the from the premium uh, you collected for uh, this straddle. Uh, you can sell at any level, like you can sell at 14,200 and 13,800 also. Uh, but the point is that uh, uh, we we try to uh, sell it off the ATM strike. So basically, uh, the uh, we want like uh, in the options we don't sell uh, option. Uh, which is deep in the money or uh, which is which has a uh, more uh, delta of uh, like uh, see 0. 0.6 so 0. 0.5 is uh, ideal we can sell uh, to get the collect the more premium so that is the point uh, as you can see uh, in the graph uh, so my point uh, what I want to show here is to uh, tell you like how the premium erodes in a uh, in a particular expiry for a straddle. So what I done, I have done a uh, code uh, in Python, uh, which I'm going to show you like uh, how it is being done. So uh, let me go to the, uh, let me go to the, um, where I have stored my uh, data, like uh, this is the Python put call like thing. So this is the straddle which is being created. So currently I'm just deleting it uh, because it needs to be created by uh, through program. So uh, this is a program, Python program, which I have created. Uh, and uh, basically I've uh, taken some uh, uh, back expiry. I was uh, about to upload this video very early, like two months back. But due to some reasons, uh, I just called it off. And then uh, I thought like this is a very uh, good thing and I have put so much there, uh, so much R&D was there. So I thought like to uh, put it on the YouTube, like uh, each one of can, uh, us can uh, go through it and we'll try to learn something, uh, maybe not trading, but we can learn Python even. So the point is, uh, so uh, how to uh, use uh, python or any language or coding uh, to our uh, i mean for our advantage uh, as a program so uh, here i'm just going to show you like uh, this is the again this is the data frames so this is a nifty pe uh, and this is for nifty call so these are two uh, for the two different expiries so I have done that. Uh, so you can have any number of expiries uh, here, right? And uh, what I've done, uh, I have created another uh, data frame final in which I appended all these uh, data frames. So here I am printing the type of the final, what it is. Type is a command in uh, Python in which you can uh, find the type of the uh, variable <coughs> which you have been uh, created. Then this is a very interesting function. My list uh, is a list uh, in which I am defining a range uh, because uh, we want to uh, see the uh, straddle for only for the significant range. Like uh, 
if suppose uh, the index is at around uh, 14000 then there is no point in uh, looking the looking into the premiums of the 11000 call or 10500 call so that is the point uh, i want to just uh, uh, show like and uh, so there, therefore i have given the range 10000 to 500 just for the study purpose here and with the 100 periods of uh, 100 uh, value would be added like 10500 then 600 not many uh, uh, in between strike of like 50 is not being considered then i printed this and uh, i have also printed the value uh, just to check like uh, if my code is going to work or not so it is a standard premium uh, which is being calculated for 12000 strikes for a single print line uh, statement so again uh, to get the final dates and uh, similarly then uh, again uh, i have also um, for the expiries also i have collected it so this is the again a data frame uh, dfx i have created date expiry strike pre, uh, strike price and strategy premium. so here i am just going to run this uh, others uh, and i am storing it to the g drive in a straddle.csv so i'm going to run it now and let's see what happens <coughs> so you can see like uh, it is printing some values here uh, basically i am in a loop and i am printing the date and the expiry and the strike price just uh, just to uh, so like uh, suppose like if something is running and uh, if it is going to take so much of time uh, i mean maybe uh, one minute around and it is good to see like something is happening there so that's why uh, i put it here the command so it would take one two minutes and uh, but it's going to do a fine job like even for the people who like to work on excel to prepare such a excel uh, such a csv is a uh, i mean easy task easy task uh, why you can use the python there so technology saves our time and life so <clears throat> again uh, if i i'm going to show you see this is the uh, the the framework uh, i mean uh, data frame in which uh, <coughs> you can see the date is there expiry is there strike prices and the straddle premium combined is there so you can see that uh, so this and uh, what again i was saying about uh, uh, these were the strikes for it it has calculated and uh, this was the that uh, premium for 12000 call which i said i printed it here so now I'm going to show you the Excel, uh, the CSV, which I earlier removed. Now you can see now straddle dot. Uh, so it is a premium there. Now you can see like uh, here uh, everything is uh, not in order. So if I'm going to uh, see the expiry and uh, in data, I'm going to go and uh, will filter this. Suppose I want to see through the September only, no October, then I'm going to uh, put the OK here. Uh, I mean, I selected it and now I have to uh, see a particular strike. Suppose I don't know uh, where was market at that point of time, uh, but I think like it should be around, uh, uh, suppose 11,800 if it is there. So let me check uh, what was the story of 11,800 there at that point of time. So I have selected the strike price, the expiry, <coughs> and now date, date is in a random order, like July is coming, that's why you're getting this value zero. So again, I need to, uh, I need to just uh, uh, sort the dates. So I'm going to sort it by the date from oldest to newest. Yeah, so at least uh, we don't want to see go into, uh, I mean, just uh, wait a second, I think something has been missed. Uh, we are getting a premium 11,800 here and what is this, right hand side, okay, these are rows and 
if I'm going to then go here from the other first yeah so yes so it is fine now. so because these dates are coming uh, as we have a uh, two expiries mixed so uh, till the last that is 24th September we can see and this is the what is happening like in the premiums of all these uh, so if I'm going to see from the uh, expiry of August uh, suppose uh, it is on 28th and now you can see like this bunch of data so how was the premium of 11,800 both fall and put and how it uh, again it rises then it again uh, again rises and then see now is 326 to 52 so best is like uh, if you are in a uh, you have sold a call put straddle and once uh, you are in a mean like it comes it reverses then you should exit don't wait for the or, uh, or chooses uh, choose the strike price uh, where you see like nifty is going to expire it is very not that easy and uh, so for that even you have a uh, different other options uh, strategies like butterfly and other so the point is an uh, option writer always earns only when the uh, when we uh, feel uh, uh, when the strike uh, when the underlying doesn't move so uh, we can uh, see like these values are perfectly calculated uh, if i'm going to check it then it is going to be correct i have checked it so this is the way in which you can see like how the uh, and this is this is you can do for any strike like suppose uh, uh, let me go to the trading view and let's see the what was the So it is started from the August. So 28 August we are going to take 28 August. Yeah, that was I think 31st August. Any any date, right? So I think I'm looking on the wrong one. So here we can see like 31st August. So Nifty was 11,700. Uh, it's 11,400 uh, uh, on that day so uh, you can check to 11,400 what was the premiums and so you just uh, need to select it here and you will have the data here so again uh, this is being distorted so again I have to sort it and you can sort it and uh, in pandas also uh, I can create it uh, in such a way like uh, uh, you can see it directly uh, there uh, but the point is uh, it requires a lot of coding there uh, to get all this uh, it needs to uh, the functions need to be created and it's a complex so the reason is like uh, I don't think like uh, we sh I should spend so much time there and uh, rather than I would work on something uh, different which is more valuable so that's all uh, for this video uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you also try these codes uh, so that uh, it can enhance your learning and even the understanding of what is straddle so thank you uh, for watching this video and uh, please uh, like this video uh, and subscribe to our channel uh, thank you